So today we are learning how to develop the relay block by using the basic blocks in Simulink. Okay. So previously, uh, if you saw the videos, we learned uh, how to develop saturation block in by using Simulink and uh, state flow. How to use uh, how to develop uh, dead zone block by using Simulink also as well as in state flow. So today we are learning how to develop relay block by using the Simulink. Okay. So basically the working of relay block is nothing but that whenever it will reach above the see here they mention output the specified on or off value by comparing the input to the specified threshold okay so 15 is switch on point so for switch on point 15 is threshold value whereas for switch off point 10 is a threshold value okay so whenever it will uh, cross the switch on point it will give the output as a 1 Whenever it will cross the switch of point 10, it will output you as a 0, okay? So, let's see how it will work, okay? So, first I will go to display as always, we'll check data display in simulation, so that it will show the values, okay? So, first of all, control A, go to display, data display in simulation, show value, label of selected port, okay? So, now let's we see, okay? so okay it's taking time okay it's okay now it's running yeah so see so now my point is 10 and 15 okay less than 10 it will give 0 and above than 15 it will give 0 then the main question is that in between what it will give okay in between what will you suppose my value is 11 so let's see and what will happen if my value is 15 and 16 and again it will be 15 or 14 13 okay so every doubt doubt will clear in this video okay so let's start for three of course it is zero for because we already we know that because switch off point we use 0 and for switch on point we use 1 okay we expect so let's start for 4 0 which is below than 10 so 2 is below than 10 for 1 5 10 now it is 10 okay so 10 is greater than less than or equal to always see relay block will always cross after that value okay on the not on that value or below after that value it will be the value or before that okay so now hey see here 12 is there okay but it's a just a starting okay it's not like that it's not like that we cross 15 and then we 12 okay it's a starting means i fill the petrol in the fuel tank and it cross my um, switch off point as 10 now i go to 10 okay so i fill the petrol again 14 16 okay now see when i cross my 15 it's give output as a one but if you remember 17 i give right now 18 19 20 25 21 okay now see i give 15 till 15 also it's give 1 but now it's it's 12 but see when we started that time it gave value for 12 0 but now it's al already we passed but it's going okay it's not like that it's suddenly to go because it's going again because first it does that threshold value and then it started so that's why it will not go 12 because see when we fill the petrol petrol will start 9 10 11 12 13 14 at 10 will show that petrol is full okay or we can say at 15 we can say petrol is full okay and when petrol will come less 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 it will not show immediately after 15 okay it will show after 10 only okay so like that so see now 11 is there now 10 is there at 10 it remains 0 okay so now for 9 also it will remain 0, 0. so 8 also 0 7 also 0 2 also 3 also 0 1 also 0 so basically that's how you can develop the relay block by using the relational operator switch block and unit delay okay unit delay is much without without unit delay you cannot uh, develop the relay block by using the basic one so that's it for today uh, we'll meet into the next video bye bye